Good Wednesday to you, Tennessee Valley. Hope you're having a good start to your day. We have cooler temperatures this morning. They're varying uh, all over the place. In fact, it's 58 in Fort Payne, but then you go to Cleveland, it's 41, 38 in Murphy, 53 in Calhoun. So depending on where you're waking up, you may need a jacket, you may be not. It seems like the further west you go from Chattanooga, it's a little bit warmer ahead of our approaching cold front. That's going to be coming in and giving us some rain later on. But ahead of the front, we're going to warm into the mid to upper 60s. So pretty close to average for this time of the year, our average right around 64. But the next big thing is going to be the potential for some heavy rainfall. Now this morning and your morning commute looking fine here across Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, the Carolinas, but we are tracking some pretty good moisture ahead of an approaching cold front. And here's our main system. You can see that cold front now in Oklahoma and Texas, so it's got a ways to go before it gets here. But by tonight into early Thursday morning, that's when we're really going to start to get some of that rainfall. Also ahead of this, we be some pretty strong winds. We could have gusts as high as 25 miles per hour here today in the valley and then by tonight some of our ridge tops could have gusts over 40 and uh yeah we're gonna have that wind really picking up as this main system comes through a little bit later tonight so here's a look at your setup we have the remnants of what was hurricane Raphael bringing in some tropical moisture that's going to get pulled up with some southerly winds ahead of this approaching cold front that's across oklahoma and texas so the lift from the cold front plus the addition of tropical moisture going to give us a really good chance of actually seeing some heavy beneficial rainfall here, especially tonight. So here's a look at your rain onset between about two to four across Middle Tennessee after five here in these blue shades, which includes a pretty good chunk of our coverage area, Dalton, Chattanooga, Athens, Dunlap, and then after seven for places like Murphy, Blue Ridge, and LJ. So a lot of this isn't going to come into play until after the sun goes down. And as we take a look at your future cast, again, the first part of your day, we'll actually have some sun Sunshine. Cloud cover increases after lunchtime, maybe a stray shower or two between lunchtime and 5 p.m. But notice here's your timestamp by 5. Some heavier showers start to move along the Cumberland Plateau. The more consistent rain not going to come into play until after about 9 p.m. And then it's going to be on for the rest of the night. We're talking heavy rainfall. Could be a few rumbles of thunder. Now, fortunately, we're not going to have the ingredients in place for any severe weather, but still going to be some pretty good rainfall. And then by the time we get into Thursday morning, I'd say after about 8 or nine. The rain ends from west to east pretty quickly. We'll still have the cloud cover and there's certainly going to be some wet roadways for your Thursday morning commute. So you might want to go ahead and plan to leave the house just a few minutes early before you step out on Thursday and then we'll get a few breaks in the clouds by the time we get into Thursday afternoon. But rainfall amounts have bumped up since yesterday and we're in pretty good agreement that most of us are going to see anywhere from one to two inches of much needed rain. So this will be the most we've had since Helene back in September. So certainly good news in the rainfall department so just be ready for that it is time to get some rain also briefly the tropics not done yet we don't officially end the Atlantic hurricane season until the end of the month. Now we have another system with a 90% chance of development this is going to start to move to the north and eventually become Sarah probably by later this week into the weekend and then it could eventually impact parts of Florida by the time we get into next week. So that's something we're going to have to watch pretty closely. I don't anticipate this having any impacts on our weather, but as we move forward, especially with the rain coming into play tonight, download our local three weather app. We'll keep you updated as the conditions go down here. Here's a look at today. Increasing clouds, PM rain winds picking up this afternoon. Tonight going to be a heavy rain with breezy conditions, overnight lows of around 51 and then looking at head to the next seven days or so. We're going to have some rain tomorrow morning, gradually tapering off throughout the day. And then this weekend, get ready for it. It's going to be beautiful. Love it. Tell Michelle what you're talking about for next weekend. Oh yeah, there's going to be a big cool down coming next weekend. So I'm talking probably heavy jacket weather. We could have lows down into the 30s, daytime highs in the low 50s. So I'm saying next Friday, Saturday, mm. Sunday, we're really going to get that first punch of some fall like air. Yeah. We are watching that hurric possible hurricane yeah, as well. Yeah, and a possible hurricane. So it's just <laughs> yeah. all and, and, why don't we throw some mountain flurries in there too? Yeah, it's possible. Oh, it's love, possible. Love that. One of my favorite songs. Thank right. you, Clay. 